Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. Uh, today is one of those days that uh, weather nerds uh, very much appreciate. It's been an interesting day out there with a combination of sunshine, and then we get these convective snow showers rolling across your area. Dump a little bit of snow out there, uh, even the whiteout conditions at times, and then, well, the sun peaks back. Just a few minutes ago, I was looking at the uh, Dickinson camera here, and uh, it was really hard to see anything. A lot of snow, but now the sun's come out, and it looks like another snow shower, however, is on the way. It's cold. I'll tell you what, it does not feel like April. 21 degrees out there right now. We have a northwest wind at 22 miles per hour. It makes it feel like just five degrees outside here in Dickinson. Temperatures are cold across the board. Most of us in the low 20s. Stanley, however, sitting at 19 degrees. Look at the wind chills right now. My goodness, it's mid-April, and it feels like the single digits uh, above zero here for many of us. It feels like four degrees out the door right now there in Williston. So today we got to 27 degrees in Bismarck. Our average Average high for this time of year is 56 degrees, so we were 30 degrees below our average high, or just about 30 degrees below our average high for this time of year. Uh, got down to 15, only six degrees warmer than the all-time low record for this day. There's a chance that we could break it early tomorrow morning. 92 degrees was the record high on this day. 92 degrees that set back on this day 17 years ago. Wanted to show you the jet stream. You might be wondering why is all this cold air occurring? Well, the uh, the jet stream is in a very amplified pattern. It's very wavy, essentially, and you can see it uh, across the continent. Uh, put an arrows there. You kind of trace it out. Record cold across the northern plains and into Canada. There is record heat, however, and very much severe weather going on across our southeastern counties. So a, a, a pattern of extremes right now as you're looking at a very highly amplified jet stream. Okay, here's the current radar. You can see these isolated, well, widely scattered showers, I should say. Not isolated. Widely scattered snow showers moving from northwest to southeast. Uh, radar not picking up all of them there in western North Dakota. But as the sun goes down here and we go in towards the evening, they should start to wind down. So by late tonight, we'll be done with them. And the skies are going to clear. That's what's going to allow that temperature to drop even more. That's why we could see record low temperatures overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. But we will end up with sunshine tomorrow. Temperatures will warm up a little bit more than they were today, and that wind will calm down as well. So it'll feel a bit nicer out there. There will be a little bit of a system kind of of, uh, traversing eastern Montana. It looks like that'll stay to our west heading on into Wednesday morning. But if you happen to be going off towards eastern Montana, yeah, you might encounter a little bit of snow out there. That's where we do have some winter weather advisories. So lows tonight, we could see a few single digits regions out there. Otherwise, temperatures getting down into the low teens. Check the record, all time record for Bismarck tomorrow morning would be down to about six degrees. So we'll challenge it. Not sure we'll make it. But highs tomorrow, temperatures warming back up into the 30s for most of us. So it'll still be well below average, but uh, warmer than it is today. They can send your three-day forecast. We're warming up slowly but surely here, climbing up through the week. Williston temperatures will be warming only a couple degrees each day. By Thursday, we'll be into the mid-30s, but we'll start to add those breezy conditions in there as well. Mine out your seven-day forecast. Good amount of sunshine the next couple days. Mid-30s to upper 30s Tuesday and Thursday. Tomorrow, or excuse me, tomorrow on Wednesday. And then the temperatures will be kind of, they'll be more mild this weekend. I don't want to say warm, close to average. It does look like we'll enter a bit warmer of a pattern early next week. So that's kind of something to look for. We've got to wait until Monday to get to the 60s, huh? Right. Yeah, I know. Another week, another week. All right, Dave, thanks. Coming up